Good morning, happy Friday. Good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. It's good to be back, happy new year. First stream of 2024. I'm pretty sure I haven't forgotten how to stream. I'm pretty sure I did everything right so far. <laughs> but it's good to be back. I am excited to just play some, play some harp today. Um, I basically didn't touch my pedal harp for the whole two weeks that I was off because I just, you know, it's work. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I did some other music making. I played a little bit more piano, did some singing. I actually took my Celtic harp out one day and played some Kim Robertson, so that was fun. Um, but it, I actually think it's kind of fun taking a break from like my main instrument, because then when I came back and I played it for the first time, I was like, oh, it sounds so nice. Like, I don't know, it just sounds different um, somehow after not playing for a while. So uh, yeah, but I'm glad to be back. Uh, I got a haircut mid-December, but yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. No broken strings. I did replace a few uh, yesterday, no, on Wednesday, because some of them are just a little old or a little bad. There are a couple of strings that, like, I would tune them, and, like, even though the tuner said they were in tune, they still sounded bad. They still sounded out of tune with the other strings. So there's a couple that I replaced for that reason. Um... So there's a few, I'm just gonna double check again. I did tune. Okay, they still sound okay. They might go a little flat during the stream, but that's just how it is sometimes. Um, but yeah, welcome back, everyone who's here already. Bob, Roth, Donald, Patrick, Brandroid, Sayo, Neri, PhD, Viola Buddy. It's good to see you all. It's good to see you all. All right, why don't we 
start with a little bit of Animal Crossing. First stream back. Let's do, let's do the roost today to start off with. It's not really any theme for today, just whatever we're in the mood for, basically. Just try to make sure the camera doesn't focus on my iPad. <laughs> you're watching from the pool table place. I'm kind of always in the mood for Animal Crossing, you know? Sometimes I really like to just like go back to Animal Crossing at New Horizons and, and go to the like happy home paradise. I really like designing houses. <laughs> I don't really do that much on my actual island usually, but I'll go in and design some houses. Okay, you know what we haven't played in a long time? Let's do um, Serena's Harp next. This is from Dragon Quest Eleven.
always a cute one. So, do you guys like to set New Year's resolutions or not? I feel like most people I meet are like, very in one camp or the other very like yeah i've got, got all these goals or they're like the, the 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 concept of a new year's resolution is silly because why should you wait until the new year to like do it or like you know it's not really a good enough motivation to change your behavior or like whatever <laughs> i feel like i'm pretty i'm actually not super i don't have super strong feelings about it one way or the other I sometimes like setting new goals at the new year because like I pretty much always take time off at the end of the year so it does really feel like a wrapping up of of one thing and starting a new thing so it's like feels like a good time to like reflect and reframe and like usually I don't have anything really mm, I don't know anything that's like too difficult for me to actually do. Like I never set a New Year's resolution that's like, I'm gonna go to the gym every single day. Um, but like something that's very rooted in like, you know, something that I, like the way I wanna live my life or like something I wanna achieve in my career or something like that. So I usually at least have a couple of sort of like themes for the year or like kind of a mindset that I'd like to, to have or something I'd like to keep in mind or something I'd like to work towards. Um, last year, I don't think I set any goals this year, I have one very major goal <laughs> for work, which is to make a new album. So, so far, so good. Um, but yeah, what, what do you guys think? Ice Spoon says, I like setting New Year's resolutions, but not telling anyone until the end of the year. So if you fail, only you will know. That's fair. <laughs> it's legit. Nary's in the second camp. Fair enough. Donald says, I think it's silly, but it's also good to have something that's a trigger to think about where you want things to go. Yeah, I think I'm kind of in the camp of like, I always like to kind of be thinking about, you know, how am I living my life right now and how would I like to be living my life in the future? I like, you know, self-improvement and growth and all that kind of thing. So I just feel like it's a nice kind of point where like I have a pause from everything else where I can really think about it. Um, but... Just, just kind of like general reflections, I feel like, on the way that I live as opposed to anything really strict, I guess, maybe is like the way I would frame it, but. Ice Spoon says, here in the Southern Hemisphere, the calendar, school, work, and tax year all end together, so it's easy to start fresh. Um, I feel like that's kind of similar here, although I guess for school, you're kind of like on a break at the end of the year, but it's not like actually like summer vacation. Brandroid says, same as Ice Spoon, keeping it secret. Okay. <laughs> Good. Seo says, I don't set New Year's uh, resolutions often. I don't have strong feelings either way about it. Just kind of think of things I'd like to improve on, like practicing more, finishing the game backlog. You know what? That's a good New Year's resolution, actually, finishing the game backlog. Well, maybe not finishing, but like, you know, playing some games off the backlog. Because I feel like finishing it is like always a daunting task. <laughs> but uh, one of the discords I was in was um, talking about like setting silly New Year's resolutions, like going on pasta quest and trying to eat as many different pasta shapes as you can that you've never eaten before, for example, <laughs> which is fun. Or like pet as many dogs as you can. The old buddy says, I think it's silly to consider it silly. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, but choosing to do things at symbolic times makes sense. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I agree with that. Like, I don't know. I think maybe the, the thing that feels silly about it sometimes is the way it's like such a fad. Like, it sometimes feel like people are kind of jumping on the bandwagon of like setting a resolution just because like everyone else is doing it, I guess. But that's also fine. I don't know. <laughs> No, uh, no judgment from me. Mary says, about two years ago, you had no backlog in your, on your gaming. Wow, that's impressive. I feel like for me, what I consider my backlog is just like stuff in my Steam library that I have, but have never played. And sometimes it's things that people have given me. 
as opposed to things that I bought. If I bought it and I haven't played it, then it's like, okay, that's really on the backlog. <laughs> There's a couple RPGs I have that I haven't played yet. Um, I'm trying to remember, did I buy Dragon Age Inquisition or did I not? I can't remember. But I have um, Tales of Vesperia. I bought like forever ago. I must have bought it like five years ago or six years ago because it was like on sale for $5 and then, and then I just never played it. Um, <laughs> So that's one I feel like I should get to, but I feel like after I played Xenoblade, I was like a little bit averse to like JRPGs for a little while. But actually, I was thinking this year, oh my, am I dropping frames a little bit? I don't know, hopefully it's not too bad. Let me just check my output. Maybe I'll just lower that slightly. Okay. Um, Tales of Vesperia is good. Okay, well that's good. But what I was going to say is that I actually don't have anything, there's like nothing new on my horizon right now. Like, I can't really think of anything that's coming out this year that I'm like really excited about. So I'm like, I think this is like, certainly for now, the time for me to like play some of the older games in my backlog. So I actually, I played and finished um, Valkyria Chronicles over Christmas break. I quite enjoyed it. I still felt like I was really bad at it by the end, <laughs> but I really liked the gameplay. The story was kind of meh, but like... I really liked the gameplay. Um, and I was thinking, I think it's time for me to play Chrono Trigger. You know, I've never played Chrono Trigger for as long as I've been making video game music. People have been telling me that I should do Chrono Trigger. And I was like, well, I never played it, so I'm not familiar and all that. So I think it's the time. So I'm thinking maybe on the weekend when I have a little bit of, of time in a block, I might start on that. The one you're most excited about this year is Visions of Mana. Yeah, I, it looked cool in the trailer. Um, I have never played a Secret of Mana game or a Mana... Mana? Mana? I don't know. I've never played a, one of the Mana games, so... Yeah. Uh, okay, let's play some more music. Let's do some flink from Final Fantasy, shall we? Let's do... Let's do Melodies of Life, because I really like this one. A mess story can be forgiven with great gameplay. I, I agree with that for the most part. As long as it's not, like, really egregiously bad. Like, I feel like... Well, I don't know. Oh, well, let's play some music. We can talk about it afterwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
from Final Fantasy IX. I love that one. It's like just so, it's so easy to just kind of get like, get lost in that melody. It's really nice. But yes, as for meh story with great gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the story in Valkyria Chronicles was, like, pretty forgivable because I feel like it didn't take up that much time. I feel like most of the cutscenes did feel kind of long and, like, they weren't really saying a whole lot. Uh, there's just several story beats where it was obvious it was supposed to be, like, emotional, but I just kind of was like, okay, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but I still had fun playing the game, so that's the most important thing. But yeah, it was really interesting. Like I, I haven't played a game like that where you, it's a mix of like tactical strategy plus like third person, you know, running around and stuff. So yeah. Um, okay, honestly, I think I'm basically ready to start taking requests. So if y'all have anything you'd like to hear, you can type it in the chat if you're new or you haven't been here in a while. Just a reminder, um, how we do requests is you can type it, type it in the chat. Um, I can't play all of them for various reasons, so thanks in advance for being cool about it and not spamming. We really appreciate it. Um, generally speaking, like video game music, anime music, Celtic music, um, we like. It's kind of our vibe. Um, so it's, if it's outside of that, I'm less likely to play it. Also, I do need to be able to have sheet music that I can read. So there's gotta be something, either either if you know I have it in my library, that's always good, or um, if it's on like VG Lead Sheets or Music Orb, that's always good. Yeah, first request of the year. <laughs> Valkyria Chronicles, the main theme. You know what? I'm, I'm, I wanna give it a try. I think I've tried it before, but it was before I actually played the game. And I didn't really know. Let me see here. I didn't really know how it sounded, which always makes it a bit hard. Um, it's on game sheet music. Because I think, like, once I know how it's supposed to sound, it's a lot easier for me to. to play. Uh, I'm trying to find it, but I am having trouble. <laughs> We've been on Molly Malone withdrawal. We can do some Molly Malone. We could do Wild Mountain Time. Okay, let me let me see if I can find this uh, Valkyria Chronicles though. Okay, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. All the way to the bottom. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay, I've got it. I just need to tag it so I can find it later. Okay. Okay, yeah. I think I, think I can do this. It's a little pedally, but we'll give it a go. Okay. Alright, we're gonna start with Valkyria Chronicles. <laughs>
to go. I think just a lot of the time, they, the person who arranged this uh, put the melody like hiding in the left hand a little bit, but uh, not bad. Yeah, it sounded better than I thought too, Neri. <laughs> Ace Racer, good to see you. Happy New Year. Welcome back. And Pengi, hi. Hope you guys are doing good. Okay, let's do some singing. Let's do some Celtic music. Okay, we'll do Molly Malone first. That's not really <laughs> the rhythm I like to do. showed you three-year-old my neighbor Totoro and now he runs around the house looking for soot sprites ah that's so cute <laughs> there's a song on the soundtrack called evening wind or path of wind okay we'll um we'll maybe look at that in a minute um okay and then we'll do so we'll do uh we'll do wild mountain time it's not summer, but, you know, we can wish that it was summer. Well, I guess for Ice Food in the Southern Hemisphere, it is summer, so. Okay. Let's do it. My hands are getting cold because I turned the thermostat down so that the furnace wouldn't be on all the time. And also because I was getting warm. It's like, it's so annoying. I'm like, it's cold outside, so I'll wear a warm sweater. And then I'm cold in the morning, but then I get warm later, and then... I'm too hot, so I turn the thermostat down, and then my hands are cold. So it's like, I can't win. But, <laughs> that's okay. Let's see if I can remember the chords. Here we go. Crystal fountain. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we had a request from Brandroid for Frontier Village. So let's do that. A little bit different. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks everyone very much. Okay. So let's do let's do some Xenoblade. Here we go. of the silly little guys TM quite <laughs> quite uh, goodness all right all right um, my fingers are cold <laughs> okay 
So I'm going to look up this Ghibli one. So let's see here. Um, let's see what I can find. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I have like a full ensemble score, which doesn't help me, unfortunately. Da -dee -da -dum -dum -dum. Okay, let me try searching the other name. Path of the Wind. Sometimes Ghibli is one that can be hard to find because they are a little more protective of their IP than other things. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Let's try this. Get into four score. Okay. Sorry, I just I'm never gonna find this again if I don't title it correctly. So Okay, we're gonna give this a try. It doesn't look pedally yet, so we'll see. Okay, we're gonna give it a try. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs>
You put the music on at bedtime for your son. Ah, Everett. Well, hello. Hope you have a good sleep later, I guess. <laughs> That's very sweet, though. Thank you for telling me. Okay, so let me see. Um. Uh, where do I go hunting for music scores? So usually either um, vgleadsheets.com is a good one. Um, which is lead sheets as opposed to like a full sheet music. Um, but that one's really good. MuseScore is kind of hit and miss sometimes, but uh, MuseScore.org. No, dot com. <laughs> yeah, MuseScore.com is the one with the sheet music on it. Uh, sometimes I get stuff there. Or, yeah, there's the one that uh, Neri requested from earlier. Just called GameSheetMusic.com. There's just a big like Google Drive folder of stuff in there too. So, um, oh, we had a request for the Ocarina of Time intro. Okay. I think I have to look that one up. Thanks for the two dollars. Senescent, okay, senescent millennial. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Ninshi music, yes, that's right. Ninshi music, I really like. Um, they always look really good off of there. Da -da -dee, da -da -dum. Yeah, that's one that I feel like I have on like a playlist somewhere. Or like, there's a period of time where I would just throw on like a Ghibli playlist, and like that one always like would catch my ear. And I'm like, what's this? I like, I know the song, but I never would remember what the movie was. Okay, so we had a request for Ocarina of Time title theme. Title. <clears throat> okay, so this one is quite pedally, but we're gonna just do our best with what we have. Unless, did I already download this one? I don't think I did, but you never know. No, I don't think I have. Okay, so let me just save this because otherwise I will never find it again. Okay. Tags. Video game. There we go. Okay. Let's give this a try. And then I think we might have to wrap up because I really can't stay late today. Uh, okay.
so that's the title theme from uh, Ocarina of Time. That actually was not as bad with the pedals as I thought it would be. Um, so, cool. All right. So, I think that brings us to the end of stream today. So, thank you very much for being here and uh, hanging out, making some music with me. Um, really great way to start the year. So um, I hope you I hope you had a really good start to your year. If not, I hope it gets better. And um, yeah, just want to say thanks to all my patrons for their support. Thanks to all the members on the channel as well as um, Super Chat. Really appreciate that. Um, if you enjoy the stream and you want to leave a tip, there's a number of ways to do so. Um, Patreon is one of my favorites because um, I'm working on a new Octopath 2 album. So if you want to like see all the updates and the previews and all that stuff, you get to, to see that if you're a patron, so. Um, <laughs> I am well, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for being here. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, but we, we do have one more song. We're not quite done. We, we're not quite done, okay? We have our ending song. We must, of course, end with Long Long Ranch. So thanks again for being here. And we'll see you again next Friday after this. some rest make sure you drink some water um, if it's cold where you are stay warm if it's hot where you are stay cool and uh, yeah we'll see you again next Friday same time same place bye